Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to go over what Bushy Road announced for Y Schwarz and Y Schwarz Blau. Now before I begin, I want to tell you that Bushy Road heard your pains, right? They know the economy is not so good. Inflation is totally out there. There's so many TCGs that you want to buy into. You want to buy memorabilia for your different animes, card supplies, all that great stuff. And you know what they did? They said, you know what, we're going to cut back on the product schedule so that you, the customers out there, will not feel totally burdened by all the products that are out there. Now, if you take a look, here is the schedule. And if you thought I was actually being serious, you are totally wrong. You have not been watching this channel for a long time because this is the product schedule, all of that stuff. You can see June through July, and it's filled with all colorful things and new products and all that good stuff because, you know what, Bushy Road, it's a company. They need to make money. I mean, you guys didn't deliver in the first quarter. The price, the amount that was sold here on the first quarter, down a little bit. So you guys need to step it up. And in order to do that, we're going to shove a bunch of products down your throat. And speaking of that, one of the products is going to be protein bars. Yes, it did all right. I think it did anyways. You can see this first rollout, which was these Roselia protein bars that also had these wonderful PR cards inside of it. So while we're going to do Rosalia, why not do this new one, which is my go? Why stop there? So let's do Ave Mujica. And then why stop there? We could just go do some Oshinoko. And lastly, we could do some Hollow Live production protein bars as well. So I'm going to take a moment here to just stop because this this is chock full of information today that I myself have a protein bar and I'm going to take a little nibble, I would say, out of this just so I have enough energy to make it through this whole slideshow of pictures and announcements because I will tell you, I sat here and I was doing that for at least an hour and a half trying to get all these pictures and I'm like, holy crap, there's a lot of stuff to actually buy. Mmm. I haven't had a protein bar in such a long time. And just eating that there reminded me why I haven't had a protein bar in a really, really long time. I need to wash that down. That is gross. And that's why you shove a PR card inside of it. Okay. Okay, moving on. So here we go. This is what is coming out. I'm going to show you in order everything that's coming out. Not was just not what was just announced last night. Okay. So here again is your fancy list of all the things coming out. First up, we got Rear Sakai Extra Booster, January 19th. It'll be interesting. Macross Delta Premium Booster Box, January 25th. We got Blue Archive February 9th Trial Deck and Booster Box. This already came out for Rebirth for you, so we'll see how this one does. I think it'll do really well. Interesting that it's coming out on February 9th. We also know about Card Captor Sakura 25th Anniversary. That comes out on February 23rd, which is a booster box. We also have Quintessential Quintuplets coming out March 8th, which is a premium booster box. Next, we have Bunny Girl Senpai, Rascal Does Not Dream of a Knapsack Kid, and Rascal Does Not Dream of a Sister Venturing Out, Booster Box, March 15th. Next is Hollow Life Summer Collection, March 22nd. This is a premium booster box. I saw it already sold out on Ami Ami. I was going to pick some up for myself, and then I'm like, you know what? It's coming out for English. Why would I get it now? So this is going to be sold in advance of the Hollow Life Super Expo 2024 because, of course, that was really fun. All those people that bought it online that took many, many months to receive. We'll see if that still happens. Next up is the premium set for Hollow Life Productions featuring the Y Schwartz Ambassadors coming out on March 29th. You also have Free Ren coming out on April 12th. This is the booster box as the trial deck was already released back in December. You have Idol Master Shiny Colors 283. This will be the trial deck. And then you have the Shine More, which is the booster box, coming out on April 26th. If you can't tell, this is a lot of stuff, and I'm not even close to being done yet. This next one is Persona 3 Reload, which comes out on May 17th. This is a premium booster box. 
They really love these premium booster boxes. Next is Disney Mirrorverse Trial Deck and Booster Box coming out on May 24. If you remember that slide that I showed you with the financials, the reason why the fourth quarter of last year did so well was because it was because of Disney. So they are not letting go of Disney. Actually, as I was going through this, I was like, man, I feel like and I know this isn't true. I almost feel like Disney partly owns Bushy Road at this point because of how many products they have coming out. It's almost like a Bushy Road IP. I know it's not because, you know, right, yeah, Bang Dream with a million things. But if you look at Disney and how much was in there for Y Schwartz Blau and Y Schwartz, it's getting a little to be a lot, especially when we have Disney Lorcana over here in English. I know this is the JP side, but you feel me on that one, right? Next one is Grisaya Phantom Trigger. This is a booster box coming out June 7th. I'd be interested in this. Next is the Idol Master again. Cinderella Girls Next Twinkle booster box. And you also have three trial decks. This comes out on June 28th. We're not done yet, people. We're not done. Rarody Kenshin comes out on July 12th. This will be your trial deck and booster box. You also have Cran Chin Chan, which is July 26th down there, Trial Deck and Booster Box. You also get to find out, we don't have a date yet, but of Captain Tsubasa. You also have Licorice Recoil Premium Booster Box. And lastly, my favorite of last night, which would be Laid Back Camp or Yuru Camp Season 3. This is going to be cool. I know that we had some releases already. We had that for Rebirth for You, and then also Oska. So, nice to see that we get Season 3 here, which I can't wait for the freaking anime. It's going to be so cool. Okay, so that was everything of the releases. I know, again, I jokingly said that they cut back on the releases. They definitely did not. This is going to be very loaded. Make sure you budget correctly on that. I always tell you to budget. This is going to be one of them freaking moments. Also, there is a ban list update. You can find videos out there on YouTube. If you want to find out more information this is where i got the information from you can see this uh Saikano is a deck this is from kula you can find kula out there out on the x or twitter world also on the discords for why Schwarz. but he put this out here we got puzzles and dread i'm not even gonna go over it right i'm just gonna read the names out you come out with your decision just remember with the ban list it does not follow exactly the same way in English. So even though you see Chainsaw Man down there, and even though Chainsaw Man is coming out for English in February, I believe, uh, it may not actually get restricted or banned because uh, the gameplay here on the English format side is different than what happens on the Japanese side. And there's also sets like Puzzle and Dragons that is sitting there that we do not have in English. So it all dependent on that. But in a way, you can at least see potentially what could happen. And also, I guess you could say counters to a ban at any point if they were to ever arise. Like, let's say Slime here. Slime. Okay, and then there's Overlord. Then we have Hollow Live, Little Buster, Love Live Sunshine, Sword Art Online, and Simple Gear. And just know, when I just read all those, those aren't all bans and restrictions. Some got unbanned, as you can see here on the screen. So... Uh, congratulations to the players that wanted this. Congratulations to the players that does not want to go against all these different decks that they kept seeing over and over and over and over again and driving themselves crazy. So that was fun to see. Next is Why Schwartz Blau. The schedule here is not so bad because if you take a look on this, and you may not be able to read this because I couldn't, uh, the ones in the light blue under January, February, May, you're going to see that those are events. So what you're really left with as a product releases is one for February, one for March, one for April, one for May. Do you remember, do you remember those days back in the when Y Schwarz felt like there was like one a month or maybe one every two months? You know, the good old days when you could afford a bunch of stuff? Well, feels like that way in Y Schwarz Blau. And what you're going to get first is on February 16th, that will be Hollow Star Starter Deck and Booster Box. You'll also see on March 22nd, Disney Twisted Wonderland Starter Deck and Booster Box. This is what I'm talking about. There's Disney. If you looked at last year, they had a crap load of releases for Disney. Uh, next is Detective Conan. That's coming out on April 12th. This is Volume 2. The first one did really well, so why not put out a second one? Next is Prince of Tennis. That would be on May 10th. This was already announced, but finally coming out. 
I feel like Weishwar's Blau has all these titles that it takes a really, really long time to pump out. Next is Disney's Zoom Zoom which there is no date for yet. There is no date for Honey Works Confession Executive Committee. Had to look that one up. I have no clue about this one. This is Colorful Peach, apparently. I hopefully, I'm assuming this is very nice and wonderful and not any sort of weird adult kind of thing. Next is Strawberry Prince Volume 2. Just because Why Schwartz Blau is all about, you know, like a, uh, the woman's side, I haven't seen anything too lewd or anything like that, so I, I just colorful peach has got to be normal. Next is Strawberry Prince Volume 2, and then we have Chikawa Volume 2, which, you know, number one did fine, I think, because they had a reprint at some point. And last, not last but not least, actually, this isn't last, there's one more left to go. This is Bungo Stray Dogs, we knew about this back in September, so we'll see when this comes out. I'm excited for this, I love the anime. And lastly, Sanrio characters. So if you saw the MetaZoo out there where we had the Kurumi, it was really cool. It was a lot of fun to actually open up. But my sister and I were wondering when we would see something like this. And finally, we have it here for Why Schwartz Blouse. I know a bunch of people are being pumped up for it. I'm actually really excited to get this. It looks really cute and fun. It does. I mean, it just looks. I'm, I'm just looking at the characters right here. I took that moment. To just look at the screen and I'm like, wow, that's going to be really cool. And you can see what happened here uh, during the event. We got some picture opportunity. We got our Y Shores mascot. We got our Hello Kitty there. So it looks like really cool and fun. And that is the perfect place to stop here. Because that is all right now since Rebirth for You didn't actually have anything. So I will come back here and just say something to you all. all right? There's a ton of stuff. Budget-wise... I don't know what you do here. I mean, I, I obviously do know what you do here. You know the schedule. That is just the Japanese releases. Uh, you still have English stuff coming out, right? And before you burn yourself out on cards, keep in mind, uh, a nice thing to do in life, and I'm not trying to lecture you, is to eat, drink, and be merry. And uh, there's just so many things to actually buy out in the world. Just remember some of this stuff, not talking about why she was blow, but when you think about Y Schwarz English sign, just think about all the different sets that you just seen right there, that whole slew of stuff, and just wonder if it is actually ever going to make it to English. Because there's probably a lot of people, not a lot, but there's a decent amount of people that would want Blue Archive. And when I think about Blue Archive, what's the chances that come to English? And if it does come to English, are you going to be upset that you bought it on the Japanese side? That's all I'm saying here. So just make sure whatever you do, uh, budget properly, know what's coming up ahead. And um, I would say it is the new year. So hopefully you all are having a bit of fun on that. I will say, since I didn't get to do this, last year, I, I think I, it was last year, I put open a champagne bottle. Today I'll do this. I got this, uh, oh, oh, I'm knocking stuff over. I got this Jameson bottle, and what I was actually using this for was anytime a character died in an anime that I was watching, I would drink a shot here. So for us today, let's just do this. Let's just do a little, little toast to the new year for this. And part of the reason why I'm actually doing this is to wash down, wash down that protein bar because it has a really nasty taste. I'm not even joking. I'm like, I don't know what to do with these with this protein bar at this point. And I didn't get a cool little uh, Rosalia promo card in there. So I'm going to take a, oh, poured a little too much. But that's all right. That's all right. It's, uh, it's Saturday. Today's Saturday, and um, I'm being snowed in right now. Not snowed in. They're saying we should get up to eight inches of snow. That's not too bad. And we haven't actually snow blown or shoveled yet. So that'll be fun. I guess I can warm my body up before I prepare to venture outside. So to all of you out there, I would say I hope you have a wonderful year. And thanks again for being around. Thank you so much for everybody that's here, whether you're a channel member or not. I really appreciate it. Of course, to the channel members, all of you that support me, that are willing to hand over money to be part uh, of the members is really cool. I, I really do appreciate you all uh, being here, leaving comments, keeping me company. Um, I will say what I'm doing with the channel now is I'm going to do some Weish Wars still, but I'm going to be doing other things. Other things that make me happy. Talking about Pokemon. I'm going to be, be doing 
uh, anime where I watch it and just talk about it because that's what this is all for, right? I think we all love anime. That's why you're buying anime cards for some reason. So I'm just going to do that and enjoy it and have as much fun as I can on YouTube as possible. And I thank you so much for being part of the journey here. And again, if you ever need anything, you can reach out to me on the different places on um, down below. It's in my description, right? Twitter. Uh, there's mail if you want to send mail. I have an email as well. Again, those take different amounts of time depending on uh, which medium you use and how many questions you send me. But no matter what, again, let's have some fun this year. It'll be really cool. So if you got one, whether it's alcohol, water, fruit juice, Cheers to all of us. Hopefully 2024 is an awesome time. So as always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside your budget. Have a good one. Man, that was pretty good. That was way better than this uh, protein bar. But yeah, if you got extra protein bars, please don't send them to me. Thank you. Bye.